33,707,642 GTA cash. That is how much you'll be needing for the bottom dollar bounties DLC released in June 25th, just a few days now. So if you haven't already, get that money making done. Prepare for this DLC. It's going to be expensive with all the police cars we are going to be getting. I did the math so you don't have to. So I'm going to be breaking down the full cost. What we know so far that is coming, which we don't really know a lot. We just know day one stuff. So there's going to be a lot more drip fed content we don't know about yet. So this is the minimum. So take this as the minimum amount you'll be needing. So a lot more than this. I put chapters in this video. If you want to skip through, we're going to start off with the business, then onto vehicles, then onto extras, upgrades, and so on. And if you want to see the gameplay of this update, subscribe if you want to. And let's break this down. So let's start off with the biggest one, Bottom Dollar Bell Enforcement Agency. That is the full name of this business we're going to be running. And my prediction, let's just go back to your Chop Shop DLC. This is where we're going to be getting our averages from. We're going to be using a lot of averages in the video, a lot of math. So if you want to just skip to the end of each segment and you'll get, you'll get the price you want to know about. But for those who want to stick around, shout out to you. So first, we had the Chop Shops in about five locations. This might just be only one location, the bottom dollar bail enforcement agency. It might just be one location. That's what it looks like, but it might be even more. So just know that we might have more options than the just one, but I'm thinking it might just be this one building for everyone. And then maybe we have other, other buildings like a uh, jail, which I think is this right here. I don't think this is inside the current agency we're, we know about. I think this is in a new property that we don't see any other part of the trailer. So they cost from around $1.6 million to $4.6 million or even up to the $5.6 million range. And that's some crazy pricing for this business. And if this business only has one location, they're going to be charging the most possible that the player base would actually buy this business for. So, you know, they're going to be raising the prices. It might even be $3 million, but we saw in the previous DLCs, they might make it cheap. They might make it $1 million to just to get you to get started into this mission so this might be really cheap or really expensive my prediction is 3.5 million dollars for average cost for this business if they do decide to make us pay up front for it and of course you are gonna have upgrades for this um some might be five hundred thousand dollars another five hundred thousand dollars eight hundred thousand dollars for something big that gives you a lot of protection maybe you could have more people piled up in your jail cell with one of these upgrades so I'm saying about $1.5 to $2 million for the upgrades alone. That is massive. We also have the truck, the bottom dollar bill enforcement van. White van, armored. You know this is going to have some major upgrades. And you know Rockstar is going to charge us big for this. $1 million at least. That is at least maybe even up to two, $3 million range on this one van alone. <laughs> you guys know Rockstar would 100% do that. But let's just put it at $1 million for now. So total so far, $4.8 million dollars for the total that's just the agency event now probably what most people are looking forward to the vehicles each update brings usually more vehicles and more expensive vehicles so let's look at the vehicles we have confirmed so far we have the overflow pipestro that is probably what i'm thinking is going to be around three million dollars or for free for gta plus as confirmed the hyundai vision 74 and these are all real life cars by the way they're not they don't have names yet that we know of so i'm using the real life counterparts here the mercedes benz w124 e class that's gonna be a major one bentley two million dollars maybe and a new burrito of course rockstar has to add new burrito of course i'm thinking these might range from three million dollars for the more crazy ones to one million dollars for the burrito but that's just my price estimates using the average from the chop shop dlc which could be different, could be more, or could be less. We get less vehicles or more vehicles. The average for those 13 vehicles we had in that DLC was $1.7 million, $1,751,000. So we had 13 regular new vehicles total, not counting the police cars, which is pretty average. I would say it wasn't the biggest DLC ever. This doesn't look to be the biggest DLC ever. So we'll probably get the same around 13, 12 vehicles. So using the average of that DLC times 13 for the amount of vehicles, assuming we do get the same amount of vehicles or less or more in the upcoming DLC, it would mean if we got 13 cars, that would bring the total up to 22,763,000 
and that's just for the vehicles alone. So be ready to have lots of money if you are one of the vehicle like collectors like I am who likes to have every car that comes into deadline. You could be paying a lot for this DLC. But it gets even more when we count in the police vehicles because you know Rockstar, they like to bring up these prices for the police vehicles. Even if they are basic ones, we saw in the Chop Shop DLC, they will charge us $3 million dollars for the basic police vehicles, like the Cruiser, that was $4.6 million to buy. The police riot van, slow, doesn't have any extra armor, 4.8. Unmarked Cruiser was probably the cheapest one, that was $2.9 million. So, you know, these are going to be expensive, so I shouldn't be seeing anyone say, wow, Rockstar, this is too expensive for me to buy, even though it's true, you know what's coming. So, the Chop Shop DLC, the average for these Police vehicles alone was $3.1 million. Still pretty high because of the gauntlet. The gauntlet was by far most expensive. But we don't even know every single car that's coming yet. We might have a supercar gauntlet custom that releases in an interceptor model. So we might have a major police vehicle again in this DLC that costs in the $5 million range. So three police vehicles alone would cost a total of nine million four hundred thirty three thousand dollars if we get the expensive ones but again my prediction are maybe two million dollars each for these base vehicles so maybe i'm saying four to six million dollars at least but again we might have a supercar inceptor that could cost four million dollars so this might just be true that it might cost an average of 9.4 million dollars to get all the police vehicles that brings the total amount of money to thirty million seven hundred and seven thousand dollars and again, there's many more vehicles we don't know about. This is all just the confirmed vehicles. I did average it up for 13 vehicles, but we might even have more than that. Rockstar never tells us how many vehicles we are truly getting until people go into the files and see. So really, we'll just have to wait until day one to see how much this DLC will truly cost. You guys know who to follow if you want to go check that stuff out. I, I don't need to tell you guys who to follow for that. But yeah, I'll be showcasing all the drip fed vehicles as always when this DLC does release anyway. So subscribe if you want to check those out, testing them, upgrading them fully before it even releases publicly. Now we are getting some buffs. Let's go through some of the buffs. The Babushka is getting a major buff and there's probably going to be some new upgrades for the Babushka and Sparrow. The Sparrow is getting a buff too, which is much needed. We need armor on the Sparrow, one of the best helicopters to me. You could launch it out of the submarine, spawn it right next to you. It needs some buffs. It needs some armor. So we're probably going to get counter defenses. Probably going to add another one, $1.5 million for the upgrades alone on that. As well as the Bambushka. Rocks are bringing the Bambushka back in 2024. That's crazy to say, but they're bringing it back in 2024. Probably going to be more expensive for that just because of the size of the plane. So maybe in the $2 million range for these two upgrades. Now I have no real insight as to what we are getting with these buffs so i won't include this in the total but just know the total at the end of this video might be way more when it actually does release this might be way lower than what we're actually going to be getting which shows the scale that even though this might just seem like a little dlc bell enforcement agency it might be one of the biggest we've had in terms of how much money it will cost and how much content we are actually getting it doesn't have any heist but it has a lot of vehicles a lot of buffs, a lot of quality of life changes. Now I gotta touch on the weapons. We might have a few weapons, a rifle, RPG. This does look like a new RPG in this gameplay here. So let's slap on another $1.5 million and $1.5 million for both of these. Usually we do get two or three weapons per DLC and usually they are drip fed. So this might not be day one, but they are usually drip fed. That brings a total to $33,707,000. So that is a massive cost, but it's not going to be upfront cost. You won't have to spend $33 million on day one because a lot of this stuff will be drip fed. We usually only get four, five cars on day one. We might just get one or two police vehicles on day one with this DLC, maybe two other ones for the drip fed and probably only really four or five normal vehicles on release date and the rest of course for drip fed like always, they always do. So I'm thinking maybe $10 million for day one. That is really all you'll need. And that's not that expensive to be honest. That's not that expensive for a day one DLC. $33 million, even though it might be low in this video, because I'm using all the averages and predicting stuff, and we don't even know all of what's coming. This is probably really low, but 
This is what I can confirm right now is that you'll at least need $33 million to buy everything. And who's with me? I'm buying everything. I know I am. So when this DLC drops, make sure to come back to this channel. I'll be making tons of video. And I'll see you guys in whatever video I make next.